Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this episode I'm going to be fitting the replacement repair panels to the bottoms of both A, a posts. Um, but before we get started, just had another package arrive from Mr Delivery Man. So let's have a look, see what's inside. feel really good quality. We've got a B post outer repair section and a tube of uh, master seal seam sealing. Oh, and a bag of sweets. Well, I'm probably going to be fitting these in the, in the next episode because these A posts are going to take quite a bit of repair time. So until then, I'm going to store these in the back. Before I start doing anything to the A posts, I want to refit the front doors and make sure that I've got the correct door gap. So I'm going to start with the driver's door. Now that I've got all four Allen bolts in, holding the door in place, I can use my 3.5mm drill bits to relocate the exact position that the doors came off in. If you remember in an earlier episode, when I took the doors off before I did that, I drilled through the hinges with a 3.5mm drill to, um, you know, as, as, as a reference point. And I've actually put a a, a sharpened a point on the end of the drills on the blunt end to help locate them. Now I can tighten them up fully. Now the door should be in exactly the same position as it was when I removed it. Now with the door fitted, I'm going to try and close it. A, the latch is catching on the door frame, on the B pillar, um, which means the door is too far towards the back of the bus. And it's also a bit too low. So when it does, it, it, it's the, the latch is hitting, the top of the latch, this bit here, is hitting the catcher plate. If I lift the door slightly, it does it close. Um, and, but when it's closed, I can see that the gap at the bottom here is a bit too tight. The gap at the top is probably about right, could, be, could do with being a little bit bigger. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this support bar here, I'm going to cut the weld at the bolt, on the bulkhead and move it slightly forward by probably about three millimetres, something like that, and then try it, see what happens. I'm thinking that I'm going to start again from scratch with this door. I know when I 
drilled out the hinges with the three and a half millimeter drills. I did at that point. I didn't realise I was going to be cutting the front end of the bus off. I thought I was just going to be doing the uh, floors. Um, but because I've done so much cutting, removed so many panels, I think the door hinges now. I, I, replace to get them in the right position I need to start again so I'm going to loosen off the hinges the bolts and play around with the door moving it up and down etc because I've noticed that the gap at the top here is small and this is bigger so the whole thing needs to be twisted so I think that's what I'm going to do. Two hours and more than one cup of coffee later I've got the door fitting nicely. The gap up here is all parallel. Along the top is good. Down here is good. But as soon as I open the door, it all drops. So what I'm thinking is, I know the door will fit. It all it, it, it fits nicely. But what I'm thinking is that I'm going to start replacing the bottom of the A post and welding in the new panels, the new pieces, and attaching them to this bottom um, rail, front chassis rail. That way I can secure the bottom of the A post because I think what's happening at the moment is that. I've got it braced about halfway up, and that's allowing the door to twist and the A post to twist and flex. If I secure it at the bottom, um, it should hold it all in place. But obviously, I'll just tack the panels in place. I won't fully weld them so that I can move them around and adjust the door and get the door perfect that way. So I think that's what I'm going to do. These are the three. Uh, sections that come with the A post repair. Um, as you can see, I've already painted the insides with a black mastic, epoxy mastic, and they go together like um, like that. This piece then welds onto there, sits onto that, and this attaches to the chassis rail. So the whole thing sits like that.
Well, I've welded this bottom one onto here and I've had it clamped up and I've checked all the gaps and the gaps look okay. Um, but what I really need to be doing is I need to be um, welding the inner section on now and then welding this one onto it which means I'm going to cut this off take the door off and then weld on the inner section first now that I know this is in the right place I've pre-drilled the plug weld holes in the front section. Now I need to clamp it onto there, back in exactly the same place that it was in before. And hopefully I should be able to line up this um, A post and door afterwards. Well, even I'm amazed that that actually fits quite nicely. I've got a bit of an issue down here with this. This needs to come back because this line here isn't very good. Um, I mean, I could always add a bit of metal there if need be. We'll have a bigger flange, it won't make any difference, but we'll see. But at the moment, first impressions, it fits really nice. So I think what I'm going to do now is do a bit more adjusting, play around with it and see if I can get it absolutely perfect. Um, because I always think that with any classic car or any car, you can always ch judge the quality 
of it by looking at door gaps. I mean, door gaps are everything, or bonnet gaps. You know, the shiniest, nicest car in the world, if it's got poor door gaps, you know, let's, let's it down big time. until I've got the other side done and I can mock up all the front and put the windscreen in. But before I do that, I'm just going to double check with the front wheel arch. that's going to fit. It doesn't fit in the moment because I need to do a bit of trimming but it will fit and it seems to be you know the right length and everything so I'm happy with that so I'll go ahead and weld that up. now is to repair this section here because it's rusted and also I'm going to have to elongate this flange, add a bit onto this so that it, it, it wraps around a bit more. This side is finished, it's turned out okay. Um, and you've got a little bit more work to do on this um, edge, which I'll do when I'm fitting the front panel. Um, now I'm going to start on the other side. The other side should be a lot easier, take far less time because I know the order in which to do things in now.
Right, well I think I'm really happy with the way that door has uh, turned out. Got nice gaps all the way around, it's nice and flush. So all I've got to do now is tack well the bottom of the A post repair uh, section to the cross member. Join us on the next one where I'll be carrying on fitting the uh, front. If you want to uh, subscribe or like or comment, that would be brilliant. Thank you very much. See you again.